Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanna to show you a website that somebody shared in my print on demand Facebook group. So this website lets us generate product mockups for free. We can upload our print on demand designs and they'll mock them up on a bunch of different models, different color shirts, etc. cetera. Uh, it's something that you should know about because hey, like I said, 100% free. Plus you can use these mockups to enhance your product listings on any website where you can customize the images. For instance, uh, Etsy lets us upload custom images as our primary thumbnail. On Amazon, we have to have that white background, so we're, uh, we have a lot less choice on Amazon, but for Etsy, we can get creative. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways I would use these, including like I just described, you can use these as additional images on your product listings, and you can use these on um, ads if you decide to run ads, like Facebook ads or something. So anyways, why don't we get started? Real quick, I just wanted to remind you, I run a weekly print-on-demand giveaway completely free to enter, and it takes like 10 seconds. Every Sunday, two winners are selected. You can find a link in the description. This week, sponsored by Merch Titans Upload Automation, Merch Ninja Research Tools, All Sunsets, Premium, Pre-Made Sunset Graphics for your designs, and Bubble Scout, the only Redbubble niche research and validation tool. Uh, all right, so the website we're going to be using today is called Mockup Mark. I'll put a link in the description and you don't even need to sign up for an account. You literally just click the link and you can either upload your own designs or you can use their pre-made designs just to demo how the mock-up generators work. It couldn't be easier. I actually really like the website. So on the uh, free mock-ups category, which is at the top of the list, the first thing you'll notice is behind me, they have some pre-made example designs. They have a cat getting sucked up into a flying saucer. They have a surfing summer 2020 design. They've got a, a cool like skull, vintage skull, a mountain design and some fruits. All right, so I went ahead, I clicked the skull design. Uh, after you click a design, it'll start to load and generate a preview. That's what you see here behind me. After about, I don't know, three, four, five seconds, uh, you should see them load in and it'll look something like this. So again, I'm using one of their example designs, but earlier I also experimented with some of my own demo designs and uh, I can, confirm that it works great. Now I didn't see the ability in the free mockups to change the color of the shirts that they're being mocked up on, which is some functionality that uh, I believe like some of their competitors have like place it. Um, that being said, this is free, so no complaints, right? Uh, so you can see here, um, they've got like some girls, some guys, uh, various ethnicities, various angles, various outfits being worn. Um, some of them are zoomed out, some are zoomed in. Uh, the one right here behind me, as I fail at the green screen point yet again, right here, uh, is mocked up on a hanger. So there's a lot of options here. I took a picture of all of them. We'll just scroll through really quickly so that you know what's out there. Um, they got a guy wearing sunglasses on a black shirt with tattoos. Uh, another guy with tattoos kind of leaning back, somebody at a beach. Um, they got a girl with like her shirt rolled up in a ball. Um, yeah, just lots of different scenarios here. Some outdoor, some indoor some cool backgrounds that kind of pop like i like the one right here behind where i'm pointing actually at an angle here the one with the green background uh the green background with the leaves i think might pop because it's like a i don't know it just seems like there's good color contrast on there and whenever i'm like trying to get a click in search results on my listing and not the competitors i typically like to try to do something that catches the eye of the viewer the only thing i don't like about that one is that the design is cut off you know, he's got his arms crossed, so it's kind of covering up the design. Um, what else? You know, more beach beach photos. Uh, you got an older guy staring directly at the camera, making eye contact. I think those convert pretty well. Um, the only thing is, again, the design is cut off of the bottom. Uh, Pablo's here. He says hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, and don't forget, there's also a second page of designs uh, in the free mock-ups, so make sure you check out the second page here. Um, we got some more models, and I think it shuffles around the order that they're generated in, so this isn't like the the order. Um, if you're just watching the video, like when you do when you run your own tests or generate your own mock-ups, you'll see it kind of shuffled around. Um, and I'll give you some feedback on some of these, the ones I like, the ones I don't like as much, as well as how I may edit some of these and use them in thumbnails in a second. Um, you can see they even have uh, the brands themselves. So this is if you pay to upgrade. I'm just looking at the sidebar there. Um, what I'm really showing in this video is the free mockups, but like if you end up paying for a subscription, they've got t-shirt, sweatshirt, long sleeve, hoodie, tank top, lifestyle mockups, e-commerce mockups. They even have like specific branded shirts like the Bella Canvas, Anvil, Gildan, and American Apparel. 
All right, so as far as colors, um, there's four colors that I noticed. Here are the three that I would recommend if you wanted to look for specific colors. You got the heather gray on the left. You got the, there may actually be five. I don't know. You can use your, um, you can determine that on your own. But like, it looks like there was a white and there was a cream. But here we have the heather gray. There's a black in the middle and then white behind me. It looked like there may have been a cream version of the shirt. And there's definitely a girl wearing a blue shirt. Uh, but it's like super, the design is like super cut off. So I don't think it's going to convert well. Uh, they have some flat mock-ups. Here you see the th current three flat mock-ups that they've got. Um, if I had to choose one, I'd probably roll with the one all the way on the left-hand side. And I'd probably like magic wand the background off and zoom in a lot on the design and then change the background color to something like electric pink, something that pops, you know, that, that the potential customer isn't going to expect to see. That's just me personally. So this is one of the mock-ups that I liked. Now, it is a little hard to see the design. I would definitely zoom in, but one thing that I liked was that the yellow background really caught my eye. I thought it popped. And when you are looking through the mock-ups, pretend you're the customer. This is actually a pretty good litmus test. See what catches your eye, because ultimately that's what you're attempting to do here, right? When you're trying to convince somebody to click your listing instead of your competitors. So see what stands out. That's really the game. Uh, I like this one, this free mock-up, because it's. I think it's the only one I saw that wasn't on a t-shirt. It looks like it's on either a long sleeve shirt or a sweatshirt, and you can download this and upload it to your Etsy listing or, again, wherever, and you can say something like, available on additional products. That's always a great way of making additional sales to customers who maybe like the design but don't like the product type that you've got it currently listed on. These three I was not a huge fan of. Let me hide myself because I realized I'm overlaying on the uh, third one there on the right side. Uh, these three mock-ups, uh, the first one, the design is just kind of really secondary to the mock-up itself. And uh, it doesn't really shine at all. Like I would never guess that that was a t-shirt mock-up. Um, the one in the middle and the one on the right, they are good mock-ups, but the design is cut off in a major way like you you see less than half the design on both of them so i would be careful with those i'm not a big fan of these now this one i thought maybe has some potential uh it's a woman on like a rooftop and she's got her arm above her head and it's a good like clean picture of the design you can see the wrinkles in the t-shirt so it looks very real and here are my thoughts though if i was going to use this and to generate a primary thumbnail so what i might do is go to Photoshop and then here I just tried to illustrate to you guys what percentage of the actual mock-up that's generated is relevant to what the consumer's buying. Um, and it's it's less than half, right? So I like to chop that down and, and make, if, like, if I'm selling a t-shirt with a design, I want the customer to see the t-shirt and the design primarily. Uh, so you can see here in this mock-up, there's a lot of just extra stuff going on that doesn't really in increase the odds of, in my mind at least, of making a sale. So this is how I'd probably crop the mock-up. So we went from this, well this, and I'd crop it something like that. And this is for my primary thumbnail, by the way. If it's not the primary thumbnail, I am cool with just uploading it, you know, straight up like you download it from the mock-up generator. But if it's a primary thumbnail, I want it zoomed in, I want the design to shine, and I want it to be still evident that it is being sold on a t-shirt. And I think this checks all of those boxes. So I really like that. And I even went ahead and uh, mocked it up in Etsy uh, using my web developer skills. So this isn't actually being sold on Etsy. Uh, I just went and kind of hacked it in to show you what it looks like if it was used as a primary thumbnail on Etsy. And I think it looks pretty good. All right, and that's all I really wanted to show you in this video, guys. Um, before you leave, I just wanted to remind you, I have a full print-on-demand mini course completely free that can be delivered to your inbox over eight days. All I need is your email address. You can use the link in the description to take advantage of it. And I've got my print-on-demand Facebook group, which is where I found out about this tool. So join, we'd love to have you. A lot of great discussion. We're all learning from each other, honestly. As you can see, I didn't know about this tool. So thank you to whoever shared it, by the way. And last but not least, guys, I did write a full print-on-demand course. And it shares how I make six-figure print-on-demand sales every single year. It's like you're looking over my shoulder at exactly how I do everything to start, scale, and automate your business. So it's for beginners through anybody that's not currently using automation. You'd be a great candidate. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you tomorrow.